Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can add schema marker code to our Squarespace website. So before we get started, I'll just give you an overview of what schema markup actually is. So let's just uh, get the definition of schema markup. Well, schema markup, you can see, is code that you implement on your website which helps search engines to better understand your website content well this also helps them to display your content in a richer format so as an example you can see in another tab i have searched this party cake recipes here you can see the Google has displayed different cake recipes, happy birthday cakes, vanilla, and easy birthday. You can also see the additional information it has displayed, that is product rating, the time it takes to make this recipe, and the ingredients that is needed to make this recipe. So this is what additional information is added through our schema marker codes. So let's get started to add our code on the Squarespace website for that just google this schema generator tool uh, click on the first link you see and this will take you to the schema markup generator where you can generate different types of schema well also uh, apart from generating you can also have different types of schemas like FAQs, article, product schemas. In this video I'm going to show you how we can add organization schema to our website. So let's just get started and click on the organization button and here you can see you have to fill in the different details of your website. Here I have already had my website and now I'm going to fill in the necessary details here in click on this organization and now you have to type in the name of your business and after that the URL of your website which I have copied and you can also you have you have to also include the URL of your logo or and if you have any social profiles you can include that too here and now you can see I've added now you also have to add the phone number or any contact number you have for your business so now I have added this and on the right side of the screen you can see the code here now we have to copy this code uh, before uh, implementing this code on your website you can also validate it using schema validator this one or uh, the rich result test you can use uh, you can use any of this so paste the code here and run test you can see it displays no errors and zero warnings uh, there is also another tool you can use that this is rich result test tool and you can also you have to paste your code here and test this before implementing mm -hmm. on your website so now you can see it is testing our code so you can see there is no error in this code and now we are going to implement this on our website so go to our squarespace dashboard for that login to your dashboard using your username and password you see i have filled my details and click on the login button and this will take you to your website's dashboard click on the website you see and now you can see the different pages and your website has and also the different two section on the website click on the pages on the left side of the screen and this will take you here now you can see the utility section under this utility section there are different uh, sub categories that is system pages website tools trash and you just have to click on this website tools 
and now under this website tool section this will have code injection where we are going to implement our code click it on here and this will take you to the header section of the website where you can implement the code so now you just have to copy this code and paste this here after you paste it you just have to click on the save changes button that you can see on the top left corner click on the save button and yes now it's added on our website uh, you can also verify it if the code is implemented correctly on your website or not just go to your website url copy your url and paste it here look this way we have tested out the code here we can also test out the schemas that are present on our website so i'm going to do this and this will display the results if the schema markup is correctly implemented on our site or not so now you can see it is testing and yes it is added you can see the organization schema board is added to our website so that's it for today and for more videos and updates subscribe to our channel thanks for watching Thank you.